Chapter 1059 Hilton lay on the ground, looking at the fierce taxi driver, his expression was no longer the arrogance he had when he stopped the car and threatened others. He looked at the driver, crying and begging, Master, I just went bankrupt and have nothing, and I owed a debt. I was beaten into such a situation again. I really have no money to pay the fare, please. Please let me go. The driver said angrily, You owe a debt, and I still owe a debt. If I have money, would I still open a rental car? Do you think this $50 is good? This to $50 is enough. Master have not eaten for two days. Get it out for me quickly. Hilton cried out, Master, I really don't have money, and I don't have any valuables on my body. I beg you, you can take pity on me. The taxi driver yelled coldly, Don't come to the set with me, then if you don't give me the money, I'll call the police. When Hilton heard this, he hurriedly got up, knelt under his feet, and cowed out to him, Master, I really have no money. Even if you kill me, I have no money. I beg you. I beg you, can I just cowed out to you? You just treat me as your son and cowed out to you in the new EAR to say hello. Don't you have to wrap me a red envelope too? The taxi driver had never seen such a shameless person, and he was trembling with anger. You. Why are you so shameless? Do you have no parents? If your parents knew that you were outside for $50 kowtowing to others, to be others' sons, what are their feelings? Hilton's nose was sour, the master told you that I was an orphan. I had no father and no mother since I was a child. I grew up in the Orris Hill Welfare Institute. Going away, that bastard not only defrauded my 120,000 savings, but also defrauded me to loan him 500,000 usury from various loan apps. Now he is on a dead end. When the taxi driver saw that he didn't seem to be telling lies, he couldn't help but be shocked, I'm all rushing to a well-off society, why are there such unlucky people? Seeing this, he really couldn't bear it, and continued to force him for the fare. So he sighed and said to Hilton, for the sake of your pitiful life, since you have no father and no mother, forget it this time. If I am unlucky, I will ask you to ride in the car. When Hilton heard this, he immediately knocked three heads again and said gratefully, you are such a good person, you are my second-born parent. After speaking, he raised his head, looked at the taxi driver, and pleaded, you have already asked me to take the car. Can you give me another $50 and treat me like a meal? The taxi driver was so annoyed that he kicked him away and cursed, sure enough, a poor person must have something to hate. You can say it if you are so shameless. I really f***ing convinced you. After speaking, the driver turned back to the taxi, started the car and left. Hilton struggled to get up from the ground, patted the soil on his body, and thought to himself, although the process was a bit bumpy, it ultimately saved the $50. It took up $50 for the taxi driver, which made Hilton feel a little better. He limped to his girlfriend's house, thinking in his heart, the first thing he saw his girlfriend, he must pounce in her arms and cry. My girlfriend's house lives in a shanty town in this city, which is the kind of self-built house, which is relatively shabby. However, in Hilton's eyes, this is a gold mine, because shanty towns are being managed everywhere now, saying that the house will be demolished when it is demolished, and the house will be lost when it is demolished. There are two or three houses in a row. Therefore, he is also eager to get married with his girlfriend earlier, so that he can join their family and become a son-in-law, and after the demolition in the future, he can share some benefits.